What's going on, guys? Tony Maritato here, and today we're going to talk about footwork for the pickleball court. So below me on the floor, you can see an agility ladder. It's simply a series of squares. Now, I'll post a link to the agility ladder that I use in my other clinic, which is a removable ladder that you can purchase off of Amazon. But any kind of pattern on the floor, the reason why a pattern like this is so helpful is it forces you into a confined space. So if I'm really tall or really short, it's gonna push me into a movement pattern that's unusual for my body size. That's what we're trying to do in order to give us kind of the, um, the chance to work on different coordination patterns. So that being said, if we're gonna talk about some of my favorite, the six favorite agility stepping patterns that I like to get you ready for the pickleball court, whether you've had a total knee replacement, whether you've had arthroscopic surgery, whether you've had an ankle sprain or hip uh, replacement, there's lots of conditions that require you work on what we call your footwork, your proprioception after surgery. These are my favorite six. So starting with number one, very simply, my weight is on the balls of my foot, the forefoot. I'm gonna walk through the agility ladder one step at a time. I'm trying not to step on the sides and I'm trying not to step on the piece of tape in front of me. I can start with a walk, I can go into a jog, and then go into kind of a medium speed, quick footwork. The next one is what I call a stutter step. So if my left foot is leading the way, my right foot is trailing. When I get ready to switch directions, now my right foot leads the way, my left foot is trailing. My arms are going in a reciprocal fashion to my feet so that everything is kind of moving together uh, in a natural pattern. So we've got one foot in each square. Then we go two feet in each square, first leading with the right, then leading with the left. Then we're going to go into a sidestepping position. So I'll start in the first square. Again, weights on the ball of my feet. I'm going to sidestep down the length of the ladder. When I get down to the other end, I'm gonna sidestep coming back. I still wanna get my arms moving in timing with my feet. I'm still on the ball of the foot, kind of in an athletic position. The next series is I cross over in front. Now we can do this two ways. We can cross over in front, bringing the other foot into the same square, or we can take a bigger step, cross over and put this, the other foot in the following square. And then when I come back, cross over in front, I'm trying to keep my feet pointed forward. I'm not turning sideways and just walking. The next pattern is I cross over behind. And same thing, I can go one foot in each square. I can go two feet in each square, shorten it up, get a little more repetition in. And then the last pattern here is gonna be an alternating. One in front, one behind, one in front, and I can go one square or two squares. The whole idea here is I get trunk rotation, I get stepping agility, I'm moving in a lateral direction, I get a little terminal knee flexion extension. There's lots of things going on here. These are six of my favorite patterns to get started with. If you've just had surgery, if you just had an acute ankle sprain or some sort of other acute injury, absolutely talk to your physical therapist before you start doing these patterns. But these are some of the best ways to regain control of moving your body through space so that when you're on the pickleball court, you can kind of adjust, you can move, and you can do it more confidently. So much of what we're doing here is about building confidence in your ability to move where you need to move. Guys, I'll catch you on the next video.